people ask me all the time about health and wellness. And uh, I tell them, you know, I, I have a routine with myself, you know, I, I, but I've been basically like physical and, and trying to take care of myself all of my life that I remember. I don't know why. I guess it was just something that God implanted in me or something to, to know that I should do that. But, you know, like even in high school, you know, I played football and basketball and baseball from my high school, and, and I've always been physical. So, uh, and then after I retired from the miracles, I actually started running. And I got to the point where I was running marathons. So I've always wanted to take care of myself because I don't want to be decrepit. <laughs> I don't want to be so people have to hold me up and walk me around and do all that. You know, I want to be able to move on my own and to be as physically fit as possible for my entire life. So I make it a point to stretch and work out and do all the things that I think will help me maintain that, that physical uh, status. And uh, then also I try to eat right too. I, you know, uh, for a while I was, I was a total vegan, uh, but now I'm, I'm back to eating a little fish and a little chicken. Uh, but uh, but I, I try to eat as, 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 as good as I can too. So I'm telling all, everybody who's watching this, please take care of yourself physically. It's so very, very, very important that you do that so that you can have a, a, a good life and you can be mobile and walk around and do things and be healthy. So take care of yourselves. I grew up, first of all, I grew up in a neighborhood where most of my really close friends were physical and we played baseball, we did all the things. Even when we were kids, when we were eight and nine years old, we, we were doing stuff like that. And um, I, I tell you something, I, what inspired me as a child more so than anything else I, I can think of about physical fitness is there was a guy named Jim Thorpe. And Jim Thorpe was a Native American who was probably one of the greatest athletes to ever live. He's won, he won everything that an athlete could probably win back in those days when the world was totally like segregated and prejudiced and all that. And especially he was a Native American and he won all those things. He was very physical and, he, and it started off when he was a child and how he used to run and jump over hedges and stuff like that. So I started doing that after I saw, after I saw that movie because I, I admired Jim Thorpe so much I wanted to follow in his footsteps. So I really started doing that when I was about eight or nine years old, just running and jumping over the hedges and running home from school and running to school and all. So that, I, so that I could be like Jim Thorpe. But, uh, but anyway, it carried over into, in, into my teens. And in my teens, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I played basketball. I played every sport almost you can think of. I, I never played hockey or because in my neighborhood there was, there was no hockey. <laughs> in fact, the only black guy that I ever knew who watched hockey was my dad. <laughs> so, but but all, all the regular sports like baseball and football and basketball and those sports like that, but, but you know, like uh, volleyball, those, all the things that we could play, we played, and we played them constantly on a daily basis, and, and it was good for physical fitness. And so uh, in my teens, I, I, car I carried that on, and then I, I started uh, going on the road with the Miracles when I was like 17 years old. And so the road was grueling and grinding enough, especially in those days when we had to drive everywhere, and only three of us drove. And I, my turn would come to drive sometimes after the gigs at night. Especially then, the road kind of keeps you physically fit because you're moving around, you're doing so many things, and, you're, and it's so hectic until you're kind of being physically fit from just doing that. But even at that, I still wanted to keep myself stretched out and doing things like that. And then later on in my life, in my 30s, I started to do yoga. And that was one of the best things that I've ever done for my life. It was one of the best things that I've ever done. And like I said, I'm speaking to everyone, but especially you guys about being stretched out. Yoga was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And so I, I still practice it and I still do it. And I, I don't do it uh, like I used to. I used to take time to just do a yoga session and just be there for two hours and doing it. And I don't do it like that anymore. And first of all, I don't have the time basically to do it that way, but I do do it as much as I can, and I do it every morning.